Hello and welcome to Realmscraft. This is Steve Johnson. Tonight I am going to show you a tutorial. I'm going to do a tutorial on terraforming ocean into land. I got an email from a young player named, uh, well, his character name is Rorin and he is from Kalanthos. And he told me that his land is just south of Folkestone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to a website that I've set up, uh, an online, not a website, a, a page that has all of the coordinates that we need to be able to figure out where he is. So there's Folkestone, and this is a realms map that has been set up specially with the coordinates of our server. So uh, Dark Willow Keep is the capital, or at least in the center, and if I go up, he's between six and 7,000. And where are you? Where'd you go? Um, such good video here. There you are. Uh, Dark Willow Keep. And if you go over here, you'll see he's between four and 5,000 on the negative. So uh, we can pop over here and look. And if we come up to that location on the server, I've already been there, but you can see right there on the dynamic map, there's nothing. We got some ocean. So we got a little bit of work to do. And I'm just going to show you how it's done because I don't. I want to work on mods. I want to work on stuff not terraforming. So I figure if I show you how to terraform, it will benefit both of us. So TPPOS, and I'm going to go to the corner, 6,000, 100, and then negative 5,000, and that is the upper left corner of the area in which he seems to be, or his lands are. I'm flying up, and now I'm going to do slash slash chunk, and what that does is that selects the chunk that I'm in. And now I'm going to do slash, oh, i got to ignore hyperbob. Sorry, hyperbob, ignore hyperbob. OK, um, now I am going to do slash slash replace water comma ice with grass and let's see what happens okay 4339 blocks have been replaced and now i'm standing on a little bit of land if we look at our coordinates i'm at 6000 and negative 4999 so that's about right and i'm even going to put down a torch so i can see so this is your land this is all you get no, I'm kidding. Uh, we actually want to terraform well as much as possible. Um, so let's see here. We've got 6,000, 5,001. Here we go. 6,000, 5,000. So this is the corner, and I want to go south in the world edit world. So I'm going to do set dirt. And that will just show me the current block. And then I'm going to do expand one south, and then set dirt. Okay, so that direction is the way I want to go, and I want to go south, and I want to go um, west. And that's counterintuitive. The, remember, the world edit directions are wonky. They don't really match up with normal north, south, east, west because of a long story. So I'm going to take that, uh, that square I just did again, and I'm going to do expand 20 down. I can actually just do D, by the way. You can do initials and it's, uh, abbreviations. I'm going to do expand 200 west, and I'm going to do expand 100 south. That gives me a pretty good chunk, uh, a pretty good section. A chunk is like 16 by 16. And now I'm going to do replace water, comma, ice, grass. Let's hope I did a comma. Nope replace water comma ice grass all right and now it did 342,000 blocks but nothing's changed yet right well we've got to start walking so uh, i'm gonna go down this way and it's this is a, such good video i'm sure you can't see a thing but we've got players on the server and i don't really want to change night today i'm going south uh, no i'm going west right now and um, that should be about 200 blocks until I get to the end. And I don't want to click with my my hatchet to see where I am because that will actually change the area selection. 
And now we've got mobs, but I am in creative, so it don't matter. And I'm actually going to fly, because it's a little faster. And there we go. Okay, so that's my corner. And now I'm going to go 100 blocks this way, and Noldar was shot by a skeleton. Sorry, no, I was supposed to be ignoring you, but I guess I'm only ignoring your chance. Um, it's just to keep the video screen from getting filled up with everybody's stuff. All right, so here's the corner. Now I'm going to shift my selection, shift 100 south, and now I just replace water, ice, grass. Now again, uh, you will crash the server if you're not careful, um, so be careful. Um, oh, where, which way am I going here? All right, it should be, hey, yeah, look at that. Okay, that, that land was not there just a second ago. And I don't actually have to be standing on the ground. I can be flying. I, for some reason, I like to set down to, to do it, but... Um, hey, I found an island. All right, you're not going to be on an island pretty soon. Now let's do Shift 100 South, and then replace water, comma, ice, grass. The reason I do ice is because that can be a problem if you hit an arctic biome. An error, oh please tell me I'm not blowing errors, replace water, ice, grass, C console. It looks like it worked though. All right, so let's uh, hit escape and let's go look at the dynamic map. And let's see how it's looking here. So you can see that we now have a land mass. And really, that is about as exciting as it gets. Uh, I'd, I'd like to tell you otherwise, but um, it is just kind of tiresome. Um, you start off, you select an area, and then you create a larger area, and then you terraform it by doing water ice to grass, then you shift it. Do not expand it. If you expand it, then you will eventually crash the server. I, I should know this. I'm very good at crashing the server. Uh, so I am going to go back and forth and back and forth and try to get this. Uh, I'm just going to do maybe a thousand by a thousand area, maybe a thousand by five hundred area, a large enough area for this uh, for Rorin to build and work on his lands. Uh, so he can play and get to learn the op powers, and if he wants to help other people build, that's awesome. If he wants to build his own stuff first, that's cool too. Um, but I figure I'll help that out. And, oh, someone's calling my name. So uh, let me get offline, and I'll come back once I've got this area uh, terraformed, and I'll show you the results. Let me uh, pop back in here, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, this is Steve back from terraforming, and as you can see, we have a large expanse of land that has been created. Uh, I found some interesting little uh, bugs as I was going along. I was getting errors every once in a while when I was terraforming and selecting and replacing an area that extended down deep enough to hit a dungeon, or a spawner, I should say. Uh, I was getting these weird errors, and I eventually... Um, Found, I eventually like narrowed it down to like a one square spot where I just was not able to do that spot and I went down the shaft and lo and behold at the bottom there was a little dungeon with mossy cobblestone and a spawner. So if you are ever working on uh, terraforming and it's just not working and you're getting these weird errors uh, that could be what's going on. But um, it also could be if you're just doing too much and crashing the server which please don't <laughs> or try not to. Uh, one thing about terraforming ocean into land, you do get these channels that are uh, for some reason they show up and I don't quite know why but they go down pretty far. I'm in creative mode of course and I don't think I'm going to go down to the bottom of the world. No, nope. but um, I don't have a good solution for this yet. Uh, I think it's better to have some land with weird things in it than no land at all, so uh, it's better than nothing, but it's kind of strange. Um, if I were you, you can try continuing to terraform and just hit it again and again and again, and it'll probably eventually close up, um, but if you don't want to bother, I understand. Um, so let me show you. If we hit there, and then come down here, and we'll hit over here. 
and then we'll uh, expand 20 down, replace water, grass. Uh, no, replace, double slash, replace water, grass with two S's. And see, it took care of it, except not quite. There are a couple little bits left over. So, um, and you can also use the brush to, to try to cover it up on the surface if you want to. Anyways, this is the wonderful land of Kalithnas uh, that Rorin will be living and working on. Uh, so I'm going to go set down a spot on the map that will represent where the blue dot is on the realms map. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we're trying to make it match the realms map if possible. Uh, there is a lot, let me come back over here to the... Um, oh, wanna, sorry, I'm being futzy here. There we go, okay. I'm going to come back and show you the dynamic map. And let's just take a look at, there I am. We got a lot of people on the server today. Okay, so that is what I have just done. It took a while. I'm not sure exactly how far. Uh, this does not actually represent the entirety of, well, it actually, the land is not this whole landmass. It's slightly bigger. But the real trick is you really do have to pay attention to the, um, let me see if I can find the, there you go. You have to pay attention to the grid lines. So if you pay attention to the grid lines, you can actually figure out where your lands are. Uh, and that's the, the sort of the, the purpose of this, this, this project. So uh, Dark Willow Keep is right here. And I've pretty much set up all the land within those red lines. And everything else will eventually get filled in. Uh, hopefully he'll be good enough to help with terraforming around his, uh, well, it's currently an island. But eventually it'll all be land. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, let me go put down that dot. And I'll actually do it while you watch. 40, let me see, it's uh, TPPOS. Uh, 6350, 100, and then negative 4700. Boom. And I'm just gonna... And CYL. Let's do a stone 10, 1. And see if that, there we go. So that's a giant circle. It might even be visible from space, or from space meaning from our map. Not that map. Oh, where's the good map? Come on, baby. There you go. All right, let's see if it's visible. I'm just curious. I don't think it will be. Well, it might be. Well, my big face is in the way. Okay, so my big face is in the way, but that's okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, email, uh, email or comment if you have any questions. Uh, subscribe. I'd be very happy to have more subscribers, and uh, until next time, uh, have fun out there, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.